Yo, it's Duff with the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got some news to report when it comes down to snitches, trenches, news, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's crazy, man. This breaking news, man. Breaking news, man. We're going to break it down for you. Apparently, this is what Suntimes is saying, right? Star witness in FBG duck murder trial is a masked rap blogger and longtime government informant Martel Wiley, who runs the popular Trenches News YouTube channel, was paid nearly $25,000 to cooperate with the government. An FBI agent testified Monday. A blogger focused on the lurid underbelly of Chicago's drill rap culture has been paid nearly $25,000 to cooperate with federal authorities investigating the killing of rapper FBG Duck, an FBI agent told jurors Monday. Martel Wiley, whose Trenches News YouTube channel has 114,000 subscribers, is expected to testify this week at the trial of six men charged in the brazen attack in the Gold Coast on August 4, 2020. There has been widespread speculation in the rap blogosphere that Wiley had violated the No Snitch Street Code and was identified in court records as Cooperator One, who prosecutors said provided information about the O Block faction of the Black Black disciples that's at the center of the murder and racketeering case. During an interview days before the trial began last month, Wiley dispelled what he described as rumors while sidestepping a question about whether he had been paid to cooperate with law enforcement. Within days, he changed his tune in a bizarre video posted to his YouTube channel, wearing his signature face mask in an empty courtroom that he said was inside the Dirksen Federal Courthouse. Wiley admitted he was testifying in what he described as the trial of the century. They subpoenaed me to court. I've got to come here, man, and tell them, man, it ain't no more discrepancies. I'm here. Long live Carlton, he said in the video referring to Duck, whose real name was Carlton Weekly, FBI. Special Agent Kevin Doyle testified Monday that Wiley called the Chicago Police Department a day after the shooting and offered to help with the investigation. Doyle said Wiley was paid $24,963 over roughly 15 installments for his FBI cooperation, which began in April 2021. He would provide background information. He reviewed surveillance footage and reviewed social media postings, Doyle said, noting that Wiley was dropped as as an informant for a time when he grew unresponsive. Prior to Doyle's testimony, one of the roughly dozen defense attorneys in the case noted that Wiley had been used twice as an informant more than a decade ago, calling for more information and details about payments. During that time, prosecutors say he lived at Parkway Gardens a sprawling South Side apartment complex that's also known as O Block, and that police say is the gang faction's power base. Rap lyrics stoked O Block's years-long gang war with the Tocqueville faction of the gangster disciples with whom Duck claimed affiliation, according to prosecutors. They have described Wiley as a member of the Black Disciples' Newtown faction, though Doyle acknowledged he later ran with Duck's crew and the Gangster Disciples. Asked whether he was concerned that Wiley may be a little biased, based on his connection to Duck Doyle simply said, Yes. As the trial has played out, Wiley has posted multiple updates about the case and some of the people involved. Meanwhile, his testimony has remained a hot-button issue. On October 10, the first day of jury selection, defense attorneys moved to block Wiley from testifying after he made a YouTube video that contradicted his grand jury testimony, according to the Chicago Tribune. Wiley testified that he recognized most of the defendants from surveillance footage, but then claimed publicly that he couldn't identify the gunman. Wiley couldn't be reached for comment. That that man got paid $25,000 to snitch on old block. Now, we can understand why this is going on we can understand why he even created his youtube now you know what I'm saying he looking at people like myself oh i can do that they probably told him look watch him and go recreate the shit you feel me? real talk but this was going on like this man literally snitched for 25k gang so we can't say that he ain't get paid he got paid we talk about all the time how snitches be getting that bad you feel me? Allegedly, the government, I don't know, I say allegedly because I don't know the exact number, but I know it's up there like 800 to a billion dollars that they paid out last year alone on snitch activities. You feel me? So it's somebody in your neighborhood. It's somebody you cool with, who you shake hands with every day that's doing some snitch cartel shit. They a cartel, for sure. You know what I'm saying? They definitely a cartel. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not make believe and try to act like we don't know what's going on, bro. This shit is true, bro. Now, hey, yo, Ghost. Yo, we got ghost in the building. Yo, bro, break down like what they were saying in this article, gang. Man, basically, bro, what they saying, bro, they saying this nigga, this nigga is cooperating, bro. This nigga got paid 20 Five thousand for his information. You know what I'm saying. Another thing they saying about it too is the same FBI agent that he working with. I guess his handler or whatever. 
is the same mm -hmm. agent who's investigating the shooter shells case you know what i'm saying they trying to implicate that he's working on that case as well you feel what i'm saying so i'm pretty so sure it's true listening. when he came out when he hold on let me stop you right there so when he came out and told everybody that 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 shooter shells situation was capping he don't know nothing about it and you know other people that came out and said the same thing you seeing that snitches news trenches news he got the same handler that's on that case the same exact handler bro same exact handler shout out x-man rico man x-man rico actually actually talked about that a couple days ago bro about this nigga having the same handler and then today this this article come out bro this is crazy bro like twenty five thousand dollars bro twenty five thousand bro twenty five thousand on a dresser yes sir what's, <laughs> like, what's What's to this dude, man? Not twenty five thousand. So look, did he get paid for a thousand dollars per person he snitched on, or he twenty five thousand for that case? Bro, I don't know, bro. Because this the thing about this, bro. Think about Trenches News' channel, bro. This nigga always telling stories about you know murders and shootings and robberies and all mm -hmm. this type of crazy stuff that done happen, bro. Like I wouldn't be surprised if soon a lot more cases gonna be dropping on a whole lot more neighborhoods, bro. Because you know how that go when you become a cooperator, bro. Especially a paid informant, bro. Like a paid. You don't just like they said working. that they gave like I think over like them eight hundred million to a billion dollars last year on motherfuckers doing snitch activities. So the same people you shaking their hand, they probably snitching, gang. Right? They Man. probably snitching. And this the thing, bro. This you know you be saying this all the time, bro. Like the police don't even like snitches, bro. Why you think they, they don't. putting an article in the Chicago Sun Times? front page about this bro and identifying this man as a snitch bro like let you know everybody know let everybody know who it is like it's they say look bro if you see what it say on the live on the fucking sun times page bro star witness in fbg duck murder trial is the mass rap blogger and it's a picture of trenches news snitches news you can't make this shit up now he tried to make believe and play his wiggle his way out of this situation but bro it wasn't that wasn't it you we still knew that it was some cooperation on your behalf gang we knew that I, I knew it i ain't gonna lie to you i knew that i had a feeling like yo look man all these motherfucking bloggers coming out you know what i'm saying they doing the same shit that i do except for one thing they telling no niggas that's why y'all gravitating towards them because they shit sounds so real it is real apparently the nigga going to jail niggas is going to jail behind the shit that they saying on their youtube gang but y'all was mad at me see i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i been knew these niggas was rats because there ain't no way you from the city like fuck the other nigga that's from cleago and all that right the ak-47 nigga fuck him fuck the city nash nigga the nigga who never covers content about the 60s and what's going on with big you brick baby none of that shit fuck him we talking about snitches news we talking about somebody from the shore who who actually saying that they eyewitness shit you feel me that's what's fucking people up right now. Like, a lot of people ain't heard this story yet. Like, bro said, um, X-Men Rico, he put out a video the other day, bro. Can you tell us about that video he put out? Well, basically, basically, it wasn't even a video he put out. He was doing an interview with Trench, well, not Trench's News, my bad, with Truth Teller. And he was explaining, you know what I'm saying, who, um, who Trench's News was working with and how this same... FBI agent Hamlet that he was working with is the same one who's on the Shooter Shells case, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like in this case, bro, like this, this, this so crazy, bro. The, the, the FBI special agent testified Monday that Wiley, which is Trench's news, called the Chicago Police Department one day after the shooting and offered to help with the investigation. Bro. Offered to one help day, with him. one day, bro. Like offered so that, to help with him. Hey, ghost. Let's let's bro. let's let's put it on the table right now, right? Because right. I seen this nigga on DJU and right. he showed DJU an email. He right. said that the feds was in his emails. Hey, bro, right. when the feds in my emails? Fact, fact, bro, fact. Bro, did I volunteer a phone call? Like, hey, what are you doing in my emails? Let me talk to you. Let me figure this shit out. Hell no, nah, bro. Niggas ignored them niggas, bro. Facts. Like, what are you looking for? Go look, nigga. <laughs> Ain't nothing there. <laughs> Stupid nigga. Fact. But this the same email. I know for a fact this the same email I got because he read it. Like, DJU, he gave it to DJU and DJU spread it out. He like, yo, whoa, 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 the bell. Bro, that's the same email I got, bro. You remember? 
remember. Facts. I remember that shit, bro. I remember it like it was yesterday, bro. But why he ain't telling niggas about, forget that email he had. Why he not telling niggas the day after Duck shooting, you called. Chicago police didn't call you. The FBI didn't reach out to you. You called them one day after the shooting and offered to help with the investigation. This with your handler. And you think that phone call went like this? Like, yo, look, I got some information. Yo, look. Um, I need to be paid. Facts. I definitely think it went like that, bro. I definitely think it went like that. Because check this out, Chuck. As you get more into the article, bro, they say they used him twice as an informant more than a decade ago, bro. This nigga been working, bro, for over a decade. Damn, look, they said that too. Like, look, this what came out. This what came out. I'm not going to lie. I've seen it. it. It's official, man. It's true. He the star witness. He the star witness. That's what the Sun-Times is saying. If y'all don't know what the Sun-Times mean in Chicago, God damn it, go ask somebody from Chicago, man. Major it's publication. Like, it's like the New York Post, right? Yeah, major publication publication bro they saying it bro star witness in the fbg duck murder trial is the mass blogger who the fuck is the mass blogger but look they let us know who it is they give us a picture who is that on the screen they give us a whole picture gang this shit is crazy how could he explain this though i bet y'all gonna still follow him and shit y'all still gonna hit that like button that you're not doing over here <laughs> 25,000, he definitely a career rat. If he getting 25,000 and they said that he was cooperating 10 years ago, right, Ghost? They said he was cooperating 10 years ago. Bro, they said he cooperated as an informant twice more than a decade ago, bro. And they said at the time he cooperated as an informant twice more than a decade ago, he was living at O Block, bro. So all that time in them stories, he talking about he was cool with T-Roy and all these niggas, bro. He was an informant. This nigga been a rat. <sighs> Being a fucking rat. Fucking rat. Ratatouille. Ratter. Man, how could I make this up? I can't make it up, man. He, I think he worse than 6 ix 9 He worse than all these rats. Troy Ive, motherfucking, um, the list goes on, gang. I'm just using the media, for example, like giving y'all them names, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, some of these guys, they moving around still. They kill the rats. You feel me? You know what a killer rat is? That's a rat that attack you. And y'all didn't hear him talk about how he don't give a fuck about YouTube. He don't give a fuck about the cash that he making on YouTube. He don't give a fuck about none of that. He don't care. He own that. He got 25K, man, on the dresser. Yes, sir. That's who he is. Man, y'all got to stop, man. Y'all really got to stop, man. Stop with the shenanigans, man. Stop it. Where you get this information from? Um, The Chicago Sun-Times. <laughs> Look. It say the Chicago Sun-Times, nigga. That's where I got it from. The Chicago Sun-Times say that he's the star witness in the murder trial is a mass blogger, rap blogger, right? A mass rap blogger. And guess who picture it is? It's his. They say he been telling for a long ass time. It should say the Chicago Sun-Times. That's the website I'm on. You can look it up for yourself. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We definitely just broke it. From this Sun Times, you know what I'm saying? Death for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? It's Death for the Salute. Cloud Chaser TV. Gang.